And Ed Sheeran's joined us now. We were just uh, we were just asking about uh, about exams and drawing particularly. Yeah, GCSEs. And. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I just told you off screen for, for a reason, but we can talk about it No, 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 no. Like. So, we'll tease I'm it out. Sorry, so GCSEs, you did all the ones that you had to sit. You did most of them. And oh, you we shouldn't okay. talk about, no, we shouldn't <laughs> talk about this. Come We're on. We're not going to talk about this. GCSEs We're going to talk about your new album yes. in a minute. Yeah. OK. What's happening now? We're going to go to the news where they are. OK, so this not is where just you a segue. Are. We just, it's a little, <laughs> just like a segue, a, okay. it's a little hello. You okay. know? It's like saying hello to the audience for you. Thank you and they know we'll, that we'll you're here. In, in 30 seconds. 30? About a minute. Minute. He's good. See you then. <laughs> Ed is more on the ball than us, to be honest with you. Yeah, oh, we're back now. He just told us we're back on air. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually being brought in to replace you. This is, this <laughs> well, is thank goodness like for that. It's a, it's, you see, much more casual. I think that could go down well, actually, because some people say we were too formal. Don't look at me. I quite, I quite like the attire this morning. Thank you. you very much. Do you have it pressed every morning? I do it myself, actually. Oh, amazing. Now you're asking. <laughs> amazing. I, I attempted to iron one of my shirts the other day, and it just ended up with the big line there for the rest oh, of the Oh, come on. You must have, like, an entourage. You probably have three people who are in charge of your ironing by now, don't no, you? No. Um, no, my, my, my girlfriend's mate ironed something <laughs> once. And that was really? that, that was about as close as I get to an entourage ironing things. Okay. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Uh, three years ago, Ed Sheeran made his Glastonbury debut on the BBC's introducing stage for unsigned artists. Since then, he has sold millions of records, picked up the odd Brit Award or two. How many is it? Could have you counted? It was two, yeah. It was two. Yeah. two. And uh, toured as well with Taylor <laughs> Swift. Uh, he's playing Glastonbury this weekend. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, let's take a look at some of your hits first. Cool. They say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream. Did you get to have some say over what the puppet looked like? Yeah, I mean, it was based on... Well, I know it's they, based they, on... They took, they took all, all the pictures. I kind of, like... Because I, I ended up having a night out that was quite similar to that in a Korean karaoke bar. So mm -hmm. I was like, I want to do this video in a Korean karaoke bar. And they were like, oh, we're going to make this puppet. And I was like, great. But I arrived on the video shoot and there's like 15 Korean dudes in suits just kind of chilling there and this puppet. It was one of the most <laughs> surreal experiences I've had. But the puppet, um, you'd be surprised how much puppets are. Like, out of all the videos from the last album, if you put all of them together, they cost as much as the puppet. Really? Yeah, is that how things have changed, though? Because they have changed a lot since the last album, haven't they? Uh, I mean, it... for, for a first single, the label's willing to shell out a bit more, I think. Right. Yeah, for a, for a video, because they want to make an impact. And yeah, I, I think it worked. And that well. wasn't going to be the first single, was it? Originally? That wasn't even going to go on the album, no. No. Uh, yeah, I, it, it was meant for... I was doing working on another album, mostly all with Pharrell, and it mm -hmm. was going to be like a more funky uh, sound and then that, that was the one song that we'd finished and then when, whenever anyone heard it they were like oh that should be the first single and I was like really and then it was and it you've had an uh, uh, amazing rise to, to fame haven't you from from what was a sort of old-fashioned style beginnings in a music career there was no talent show none of those things you started gigging, you just started playing music and stopped, basically stopped your education, as we sort of alluded to a, a moment ago, but you, you knew what you wanted to do and you just started doing it. Yeah, I mean, I just, like, my, dad, my dad always said to me, like, if you don't need to get a degree to do a job, then go out and experience it. Like, you know, if you want to be a doctor, go and get your grades and stuff, but if you want to be a musician, your education is going to come from doing shows, writing songs, practicing, meeting people, networking. So just start off as early as possible and, and do that. And it's gone all right, hasn't it? I mean, yeah, it hasn't gone too badly. It hasn't gone too badly. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not starving anymore. Yeah. And, and the networking's not going too badly, is it either? Because, I mean, who's on... Who's the best name on the mobile phone? Is it Elton John? Uh, who's, the, who's the one that you, you could still look at down the list and go, my, I can just call him. Deirdre, my, 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 my TV plugger. She's the best one on my mobile oh, phone. Mate. She gets me shows like this. And Jules Holland. Yeah, well, you said <laughs> that. Right no, Jules, Jules, Jules Holland's a, like BBC props for that because you took away Top of the Pops, which, come on, bring it back. But Jules Holland, yes, mate. It's a great Good show stuff. as well, isn't it? Um, tell us what is your favourite song on the album? Uh, it's a song called Thinking Out Loud, track, track 11. It was actually the last song I did for the album. I wrote it in my kitchen and uh, recorded it that week and then it went on the album. The album was like complete and then that song just popped Why is that one important? 
Because it's actually the only happy song on the album. You listen to the album, you're like, oh, hope is lost. He's such a sad guy. And then you hear that song and you're like, oh, no, he's no, happy now. So. Um, should we have a listen to another one? Um, <laughs> yeah. it's called, this one is called One, and this is the first time it's been played on TV. Is it? Apparently. So here it is. Would you stay with me? You mentioned it's not so happy this album. I mean, it's, well, it's just you, don't, you like people. People always think like, oh, you must be a sad guy because you write lots of sad songs. But like songs, when when you're happy and you're like, yeah, let's go for it. You're not going to be sat in a like dark hotel room writing a song. You're going to be out having Being fun. Happy. So the only times I do write songs are when you're in a dark hotel room. Um, tell me a little bit. Uh, we just talked a little bit about it. Um, so you've taken the swearing out of this because of a particular reason. Yeah, no, I was in a <laughs> I was in a taxi in Los Angeles and the taxi driver was like, yo, man. My daughter loves your stuff. And I was like, oh, you should come down to a show. And he's like, I'm not coming to one of your shows, man. And I was like, why? And he was like, because you swear too much. And I was like, if I take out the swear words, yes. will you come? And he was like, only if you edit your album and take all of them out, because so I want to be able to play it. Back but, and edited. Yeah, I went back and took out all the swear words. Uh, but it worked out, because the guy that runs my record label has yes. two daughters who are like, little little and he said every time he was playing the unmixed album he kept having to turn it down every few seconds so i just think it works out works out better people can fill in the blanks if they want to cab drivers everywhere are now thinking they can steer your career <laughs> every time you're going to say well, if i tell him that he's going to do deep, it the deepest conversations in life i usually have are with <laughs> cab drivers they're like because they they just know so much they speak to so many people every mm. single day so they're yeah you can Get, get down. It's been lovely to speak to you, Ed. And I know lots of people are sending questions for you as well um, to breakfast. Ed is going to answer them on Facebook. His new album, Multiply, is out now. Are uh, you playing at Glastonbury and touring as well later this year? Yeah, touring touring this year Brilliant. in October. Are you coming to Glastonbury? Are you doing anything? Sadly oh, not. Nice. Have a great time. Stick on your web. I'll be able to see on the BBC, of course. Come, <laughs> come and get on it. It'll be fun. <laughs> uh, that's, all time. that's all we've got time for this morning. We're back at six tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Bye.